was the night before the night before Christmas, and all through the house, just Irby was pissed off with his wireless mouse. Fucking batteries. Archie was mewing for his evening treat, and he kept getting underneath Irby's feet. So he popped on the kettle to make a hot brew, and then skipped up the stairs to his desk to rant at all of you. Just Irby here wishing you a merry go fuck yourself. Tits. Hey guys, just over here. Welcome to the Christmas Spectacular. That's not all that spectacular. Apparently waving your hands make, means uh, spectacular. This is the official just Derby gesture for spectacular. Stop it. So hello there. Welcome to the last video I'll be posting in 2010. Ooh, maybe. It's three days before New Year. That I have to get through at work. But tomorrow's the last day before we wake up for Christmas for four days! Four days! Those of you at school have probably got two weeks off. Bastards. And at college. Archie. Bastard. Four days is a blessing when you're working full time. And then it's three days back in and then three days off for New Year. It's like a week off, just broken off a bit. Anyway. For the end of, uh, since the end of 2010 is coming up, I thought I would review all the games that I have purchased or more likely been given by someone else uh, throughout 2010. Shockingly, there aren't very many. <laughs> this list is considerably shorter than I thought it was going to be. There's probably about eight there. There is eight there. So I thought I'd just go through all these games one by one and just give a very short review seems to be getting increasingly shorter as I go down the page, actually. Um, what I thought of the game, and whether you should get it or not. Well, no, actually, that's up to you. But I will be rating them out of... Archie heads. Or Archies. We'll just say Archie points or something. But cat heads. Five out of five cat heads is good. Sounds bad, actually, but it's good. Mass Effect 2. Truly outstanding game that I haven't got round to finishing yet. Unfortunately, I could not complete Mass Effect 1 because my system gives up in the same place every time, so I have to go with the default storyline rather than continuing the one I started. It also suffers from the previous game's obsession with walls of text. There is so much to read in Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2. I don't have time for it. Most of the time I just want to shoot things. I like the dialogue and the dialogue options and choices you can make, but all the text just seems unnecessary. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Really? That came out this year? I've been playing it for a very long time. Never played the original game because it was for console tards only. The single plank... Single plank? The single player campaign is short, predictable and far too easy. The multiplayer is infuriatingly addictive and unlocks keep you coming back for more. Probably wouldn't be half as fun without friends and team speak. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction. I've only played the multiplayer co-op version on the 360, uh, so I'm not the best judge. Nice and challenging, from what I could tell, uh, the, the guy I was playing with is a complete asshat when it comes to being discreet. GTA 4 Episodes from Liberty City. Fantastic expansion pack for a fantastic game, held back by my low end PC and the fact that it's glitchy as fuck. APB, All Points Bulletin. <laughs> I was part of the beta, and I posted on the forum how laggy it was, and mentioned the performance issues quite frequently. Uh, I lost interest with testing it, and a month later they released the game with what seemed to be very little fixes applied to it. And a month later the company went bust. <laughs> Worms Reloaded. I got it so that I could play online with friends and have epic multiplayer battles. To this day, multiplayer doesn't work. Fallout New Vegas. I went in expecting more Fallout 3. And I came out in love. If 
fantastic game that seems to be underappreciated by the masses. Mostly console playing tards. It's an awesome game. Adds so many more features than Fallout 3 had, and it's just fantastic. I recommend you pick it up, even if you don't normally like the genre, which is FPS RPG. Oblivion. Well, it's pretty much the same engine as Oblivion. People are saying the engine looks dated. I don't get that at all. It's po possibly the console tards again, because the engine, to me, looks fine. Characters don't look particularly low quality to me. I don't know what everyone else is seeing. Maybe no one has mastered sliding the detail settings up to max, but my characters seem fairly detailed and I can't see any faults with them. Minecraft. It's not an official release because it's an indie game and it's still in beta. I want my life back! Sorry. So that's that. Eight games for 2010, that's all I've got to show. Well, actually, that's eight games that were released in 2010 that don't fall into the indie category. Obviously, I've played demos, but I can't review them because it wouldn't be fair. There's games I've bought this year that came out last year. It's an odd mix of stuff. So, uh, now for the updates. A um, couple of shock updates, and believe me, when it comes to me, this is about as shocking as things get. I've answered all my questions on Formspring. Not in a video, Irby. No, there was 24 of the motherfucking things. So I did it on Formspring. So if you asked a question and you want to see the answer on a video, very sorry, but if you want to go to formspring.me forward slash Urban Nebula, you can check out the answers I put there. Also, I've started updating my Twitter. I've had a Twitter account for about two years, and uh, up until the start of this week, I had about... 50 tweets made over the course of those two years, and I now have 77. Moral of the story is, if I keep Twitter open in the background, at home or at work, I tend to update it a lot more. So if you want to hear some funny crap that I have to say throughout the day, subscribe to my Twitter. If you do it right now, you'll get some updates tomorrow. Woo! Other than that, that's really all I've got to do. My Christmas Spectacular video is just like any other regular video, expect I had a feature at the start, and I reviewed some games. Yeah. Anyway. With 2010, I think my New Year's resolution... I've just bit my tongue. My New Year's resolution will be... In 2011, my New Year's revolution, resolution... Blooper reel? Will be... Um, to make more videos more often. Put more effort in. Try and find more time to work on the projects I should have finished already. Definitely get the core finished before the end of next year. <sighs> the original release date for the core was quarter 3, 2010. We're now heading into quarter 1, 2011, and it's about 10% complete. And even that's at a push. Anyway, have a Merry Christmas. Uh, have a Happy New Year, if I don't make a blog before then. I'll probably be taking the flip video around with me on Christmas Day, so hopefully before the new year, or just after the new year, somewhere in those three days off, I'll find a chance to upload some funny crap that happens when I get drunk, or when my family gets drunk, or when my fiancé's family gets drunk. It's going to involve people getting drunk. It might not happen at all. I might, have, I might forget the flip, the batteries might die, I might just not bother, which will be a great start to the New Year's resolution. 